Yeah, so I'm going to be um, derma rolling. I'm going to use my derma roller. I couldn't find my um, my derma pen to make things a little bit more easy and um, more effective for me. So I guess the needle is going to have to just work for me. This is only like 0 0.5 uh, size needles. It's not that large. You can't even really see them. Normally, I would use... Um, a 1.5 inch needle but that's something that only professionals should use and I'm not a professional so I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, I'm gonna start out by just soaking them a little bit in the alcohol go ahead and apply my apply, put on my um, gloves me and how are you guys doing I'm like shit is just getting crazy and it's crazy and crazy each day in this world. Um, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the cops just kill another, just not another black, like one person, but it's like brutality almost every day against us, and we're pretty much really tired of it, so I know I am. Um, I don't really have to, like, never had issues with the cops. Um, even when I did um, run into them, like, they never bothered me or anything. I don't know if that has anything to do with being gay. I don't know, but I think it's mostly straight black men that always have an issue with the cops. So anyway, I'm going to wipe some of the dirt and oil off my face. Because with uh, using dirt, uh, the, the needles, you want for your skin to be as clean as possible, so this way you can keep infections away. It just basically drains from the open wounds. Uh, you know, catching the infections. I had a lot of put in the room. I was thinking, even though I just washed my face, which is crazy. So what I'm going to do is start by applying a little bit of my um a Central C Daily um, Moisturizer by Murad just to help the needles um, glide across my skin a little bit normally you would do this with the derma um, the derma pen but I do it with my derma roller as well because uh, what will happen once you puncture your skin with the needles is it will help to get a product to penetrate a lot more efficient and effectively. So I'm going to start with my chin area. It's a little wet. Give me a second. Okay. So I'm going to go across about four times. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You never want to apply too much pressure when you're using these things because the needles tend to poke out a lot, like it's really painful. So, um, you just want to use the weight of the roller, like depending on how heavy your roller is. Like, you don't know. So I'm gonna go across here one, uh, a couple more times. And what's going to happen is that this is going to start exfoliating. My skin is gonna help my skin to exfoliate. So this is like a uh, retin-A in needle form. You always wanna hold your skin taut. As you can see, I have a lot of not hyperpigmentation, but I have a lot of scars. Like you can notice, ever since my skin has lightened up, I know I need to lose some weight as well. I lost a little bit and gained it right back, so I'm not too happy with that. I'm a little bit stressed out right now. As you can see, my skin is breaking out. You really don't want to get like the breakouts. You want to be uh, steer clear of the breakouts. Be careful because then you will carry uh, the bacteria from that breakout to other areas of the skin, and then 
that area will start to break out. So you can hold your skin taut this way, that way, whichever way, um, whichever position is com um, comfortable for you, comfortable for you. So um, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And your skin is going to start to turn a little red, too, so. You don't want to really go over the same area too much. Because you don't want to, um, you don't want to have your skin any type of hyper hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation. Um, also just to let you know, like a 0 0.5 size needle is great for POC, people of color, like anything heavier, like if, even if you were to go to the professionals, they would really use like a, a anything longer than like a two inch needle size needle so it's mostly like uh 1.5 1 inch to 0 0.5 mil i don't know how to say it but half size an inch like i'm bugging out today <laughs> and me and math are not on each other's side today which is kind of embarrassing because i graduated with a diploma in accounting so but that's how you can notice i'm really stressed out today so Especially with this damn weight that's bothering me. I'm so tired of it. I've been drinking a lot of soda lately. A lot of sodas. Um, I had stopped for a little while. For like a, a month, I think I quit drink. Well, I like drink a tiny little bit, like, um, and drink more Kool Aid. <laughs> I love Kool-Aid, so it's much more better and much more lower in calories than any soda, much more healthy as well. Um, since it contains vitamin C, I can drink a bunch of it, a ton of it. Um, so I'm going to switch back over to just drinking my Kool-Aid or Crystal Light is another healthy drink. So I said I know I said I don't um that I wasn't gonna go over my breakouts, but I don't think the needles are too that long towards where it would um break through my skin. So one thing about using um dermal rollers is like um if you're using like a longer size needle, like a one Inch, like using one inch needles you can hear when the needles tend to the skin like they just ah some people just get to the point where they can't even <laughs> they just can't like they just stop in the middle of the process like like I'm hearing my skin pop right now like I can hear the needles just popping into my skin even with these size needles so um as you can notice it is, it is very right like really really right and that's exactly what you want. The jawline is always the hardest area to get. I don't know, because that area is so bony, like. I wish I had someone to help me so get my jawline area for me, but practice makes perfect. Um, 
sometimes you can smell like the dirt and oil that comes out from your skin if you have like a lot of blackheads it is not a good smell at all so um just gonna pass through here one more time Just like using um, glycolic acid, applying glycolic acid or applying a TCA pill, you can feel a little bit of stinging. The longer the needles, the more stinging you will feel. But just like if you was to go up on the percentage of TCA or glycolic acid, like the higher the percentage, the more stinging you would get. And it's really similar. I'm assuming that if you, I mean, could afford laser um, surgery, I wish I could. Not right now, I can't, but hopefully later on in the future I will. Um, I mean, I'm going to continue to use my my uh, derma roller. Not here, because you, after one use, you're supposed to throw it away, but um, it's just crazy. But I do have my derma pin. I don't know where I put it. I have like plenty of the little needles to go inside of this the, um, derma pin system, but can't find my damn pin. I don't know. Last time I had it is when I had applied some of the funky mommies um, or funky mamas all over body pulling oil. And that was two weeks ago, three weeks ago, last month. Time is going by quick. So I'm going to cut this video short and I will be right back. Oh my God, and especially like the nose area. I know they have like little tiny um, like stamp. I forgot what you call them. Stamping um, derma pens, like like the ones where you stamp. Not like the derma, the derma pen where it's like the automatic derma pen, but the little tiny has one where you can get like the eye area and like where the nose is. Those are so painful. Like I will leave this area alone because it's so sensitive. And especially this area right here where you might get like some smell um, lines or some wrinkles, but so I don't pass near that area more than once or twice, but Today I'm only going to do one time because it's, it's burning already and it's stinging. So, um, you can use a 0.5 size needle. I think it's every two or three times a week, or every two or three times every two week. You want to build, get, give your skin some time to build tolerance. So you don't really want to use this too much, okay? So it's not like the thing where you can use it every day. Also, depending on the size of the needle, as long as it's not something to where it belongs in a professional office and only they should handle, uh, maybe a 0 0.75 or 1 millimeter uh, needle, that should only be done once every week or once every three times a week. So just like uh, if you were to do a... Um, an acid pill and your skin, an AHA or BHA pill. Oh, and just to show you all, my skin right here is pulling like a little tiny bit from the funky from the pillow oil, but it's not really pulling the way it did like a couple of years ago when I did it. So I don't know what's up with that, but I'm gonna put, or buy me another one so I can get rid of these damn scars from my skin slowly. I can just lighten up the areas where, um, you can notice there's some darkness there inside of the, the ice pick swaths is what I have. So I can lighten up a little tiny bit. I'm going to make a pass through here one more time and that's going to be that. I'm just so happy we're at the point where we can wear a mask. I mean, we have to wear a mask. A lot of people are not wearing a mask. It's just being fucking really crazy and stupid, but... Um, I just wear my mask as much as I can when I go outside. Not even as much as I can, but all the time when I go outside. Um, and I don't think I'll take my mask off until my skin pretty much clears up and heal up. I mean, I don't care if this thing is over with or not. Like, it's not going anywhere. It's basically here to stay. Um, 
I don't want to get demonetized, so I don't want to even say the name, but you guys know what I'm talking about, so. Anyway, there you have it. I'm going to apply a little bit of my Murad's Vapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. So hopefully, just to penetrate a little bit into my skin. I don't even have much left of this thing. Like, And I hate the way they um place this with the pump line going through the bottle in here because it is not going through all the way so it's where I can get the rest of it out. So, you have to really fight with this thing just to get anything out, but just take it off and, um, I can't believe I ran through this stuff already. Like, wow. I didn't get my forehead area. My forehead is fine. Um, get shit in. So, the only areas in my skin that are not fine is just underneath my neck, my chin. I wish East Side could look like my damn um, forehead, but fortunately, that's not the case right now. So, anyway, besides that, I just want to thank those of you who are subscribed to my channel so much for being subscribed. For those of you who are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and leave a comment underneath the comment section below. Oh, also, I just wanted to apply a little bit of Murad City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. Um, and then I'm going to apply a little bit of the moisturizer um, to essentially see again after this. So, you don't need a lot of this stuff. This little thing right here should last you about a month and a half. I always take this area right here and just like go up on my nose to towards the, like the eyes. Trust me, this is enough right here. You don't need to slap on a lot, like tr trust me. I just wanted to show you all how Murad really helps the skin to glow. It just help give that your skin like the not that natural gl looking glow. So where's my moisturizer? I don't even know my moisturizer. Okay, here we go. So this is what I use right here. Just a tiny amount, and I still have a ton left in this thing. So, um. And just gently go over all my face and massage it until it's absorbed into my skin. Um, my skin is turning so right. So, anyway, take care, all. I love you. Stay safe and stay in the house. Still, like, I mean, it's still not a time to where you really want to be out there. Um, so really, really just stay safe. I mean, so you and your loved ones and your family, like, I wish you well. Take care. See you later.